I'm Dr. Benito Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So as you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. A lot of you have seen a lot of my videos and you will know that skin of colour has larger melanocytes than Caucasian skin, which means that they are easier to trigger. I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. Now the same is true when it comes to skincare. We have to be a lot more careful with our skincare than our Caucasian counterparts. So we can't really afford to burn and irritate our skin because again, we will trigger those melanocytes and it'll lead to more pigmentation called PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So a lot of you would already have gone through this before. Now today's video is all about Roaccutane. So Roaccutane is the brand name, the generic term is isotretinoin. So it depends on, um, you know, which one that you, they're interchangeable, whichever one you've come across. You know, it's the same thing. Right, so if that sounds good to you, let's dive right in. So how does Roaccutane work? So Roaccutane has multiple ways of working. First thing it does is it controls sebum production, so you have less oil production. This means that your skin does tend to feel drier while you're on it. Um, it also reduces the amount of keratin that's being produced, and keratin, don't forget, will block the pores or the opening of the hair follicles, and that is the beginning of acne. It also reduces the amount of bacteria on the skin as well. Rakutane is a well-known anti-inflammatory drug, which is also important because don't forget that acne is an inflammatory condition. So this is a very important aspect of it. Now it's a very effective drug. Nine out of 10 people see a improvement in their acne and acne scars after just one course. However, it does sometimes get worse before it improves. And there are many, many side effects. And we're gonna be going through them and telling you what you need to do to protect yourself, especially for skin of color. So how is the dosage calculated? This is calculated by your dermatologist based on your weight. Now, now, one course is usually 20 to 80 milligrams per day and will last you 16 to 24 uh, weeks, not months. <laughs> But 24 weeks is six months, that's half a year, it's quite a long time. And it definitely is something that you need to think through carefully and do a cost benefit analysis in your mind um, on whether it's worth doing for you. The other thing that's important to note is you do get best absorption after a meal that's got fat in it. Um, so that's also important to note. Okay, so the side effects are extensive but there are things that you can do to protect yourself so dry skin is a number one complaint dry flaky skin now this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you because you've all at this point you've probably only had oily acne prone skin um, and so you need to take care first of all you want a non-comedogenic moisturizer so something like face theory gel moisturizer is excellent you need to be very good at that because you don't want it to get to a point where you now have eczema and dry flaky skin and then secondary infection because now you have additional skincare issues that you didn't have to start with and it becomes very difficult to manage. So you must, must hydrate your skin and moisturize regularly. You don't want your skin to be feeling tight um, and dehydrated because that's also not a healing environment for your skin. So really pay attention to your skin. The other thing is that your skin can feel very fragile um, and so again, you want to avoid any professional grade treatment. So even for example, at the hyperpigmentation clinic, we would never do a treatment on you if you're on Roaccutane. You shouldn't be waxing your skin. You don't want to laser your skin. You don't want to do anything that's gonna irritate your skin. You don't want to exfoliate your skin, you know? You just want to create a healing, hydrating environment for your skin. That really is key because you don't want to inflame and trigger your melanocytes any further. Other things that can happen are dry eyes. So dry eyes, blurred vision, and especially night vision can happen. With dry eyes, you can use artificial um, tears. So those are uh, droplets that you can put into your eye to help if you feel like your eyes becoming irritated. 
Um, you want to avoid dry, smoky environments because that can make the situation worse. And also contact lenses. Be very careful with contact lenses. And you probably would just switch straight to glasses, to be honest, while you're on Roaccutane. Dry, chapped lips are another common complaint. Um, and with this, please don't use any fragrance lip balm. 99% of the lip balms out there are fragranced. And as you know, fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. And why would you do that when your lips are dry uh, with fissures in them? I mean, you're not going to then put an irritant onto your lips. So the one I love, love, love is uh, Vaseline. This is the one that I'm wearing, the one that I recommend, the aloe version or the original. They've got other versions that have fragrance in them, so please don't buy those. Lips are obviously important. And then the next thing you need to think about is sunscreen, SPF 50. You know I'm going to tell you that physical is my favorite. The number one thing is that you wear your SPF 50. Whether you choose physical or chemical, it's actually more important that you just choose one and wear it. And the one that you're gonna wear is the best one for you. The reason I love physical is because it's also anti-inflammatory. Zinc oxide is anti-inflammatory and don't forget, your skin is being inflamed, whether it's being inflamed by the acne or it's being inflamed because it's dry and dehydrated, irritation is taking place. And so for me, I'm always going to want physical sunscreen for skin of color. It also doesn't absorb into your bloodstream, unlike chemical sunscreen, which can build up in your bloodstream after three days of use. And don't forget, with sunscreen, we apply it every single day. Right now it's cold winter and I've got two layers of sunscreen under my makeup and I'll reapply it on top of my makeup later. So for me, that's why um, I would choose physical, but regardless, it doesn't matter if you want to wear chemical, that's fine too, but just make sure you wear your SPF 50. Some other side effects that can happen are muscular pain, joint pain, thinning of hair, increased fats in your bloodstream, which is why we would do blood tests, because don't forget that that can lead to inflammation of your liver or of your pancreas. The number one thing that we talk about with isotretinoin or racutane is pregnancy. If you fall pregnant while you're on Roaccutane, there's a very high chance that it will damage your baby or will lead to miscarriage. So we do everything in our power to make sure that that doesn't happen. So you start off, for example, your dermatologist will do a pregnancy test before you even are prescribed it. You're then encouraged um, to do double contraceptive method. So for example, you might be on the combined oral pill plus have to use condoms. In addition, they're likely to do pregnancy tests every month. So you come in every month to collect your tablets for that month and they do a pregnancy test every time to make sure that you're not pregnant. Um, and then they also do it again four to five weeks after you've completed your isotretinoin and then you can proceed um, and conceive after that. But while you're on it, you just need to do everything you can to prevent pregnancy. This is also the reason why we don't put vitamin A in pregnancy skincare. I mean, um, if you want me to do a video on best products for pregnancy and, and do a pre pregnancy skincare routine for you, please can you write it down below? Can you also tell me during pregnancy what your main skincare concerns are? Because there's no point me just doing a generic um, pregnancy skincare routine. Um, I want to know really what are your concerns? Do you want anti-aging? Do you want, you know, what is it that you're trying to achieve? So I can tailor it to you and I can actually do a whole series if you want on pregnancy skincare. The other side effect that you need to know about is mood changes. So um, there are mood changes and low mood depression are associated with Roaccutane. So this is something that you need to bear in mind and something you should really discuss with the people who are closest to you so that they can monitor your mood. Sometimes when you're in it yourself, it's hard for you to diagnose what's going on. So that's a very important thing to discuss. All in all, when it comes to acne and skin of color, we do actually need to be more aggressive with treating it and from a younger age. In fact, what I've done is I've actually created a skincare routine for preteens. So that's um, from 10 years old till about 13. The reason is that once we start getting acne, those free fatty acids are very irritating and they trigger your melanocytes and then you end up with the pigmentation left behind. So us it's almost like the acne itself is not as traumatic as the pigmentation left behind after and so this is why I always say you want to attack acne aggressively 
from a younger age. Um, and so Roaccutane is going to probably help a lot of you, but you just need to be really aware of the side effects and the things that you can do to protect yourself. My parting message is that Roaccutane can make your skin very sensitive to the sun. Now, this is very bad for skin of color because obviously we don't want more pigmentation from the treatment that we're you know, trying to improve our skin with. And this is why I say you need your SPF 50, not SPF 30, SPF 50 every two hours while you're on it. I think it's important for you to know all the pros and cons before you make an educated decision as to whether this is the best treatment for you. If you've got any other questions on acne, can you write them down below, please? Um, and tell me what other videos you want me to make specifically for you. I've actually done an acne routine for dry skin, an acne routine for oily skin, a preteen um, oily skin routine. But if there are other ones that I have missed, obviously I'm going to make them for you. So if you could just write them down below for me, that would be great. Don't forget to download your free guide. The link is down below. Don't forget to subscribe here, hit your notification bell, but also follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and at Skincare by Dr. V. Thank you very much for watching.